And thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Needs. And today I'm creating for you a by proxy energy work session with the themes of connecting with our body senses and therefore our impulses and allowing ourselves to act on particularly our creative impulses. So I will say as well that this box, this session was inspired by a goddess provision box that I got, which was about sensuality and pleasure and connecting to the body, which I really do appreciate personally because it's a nice reminder and we don't always talk about that kind of stuff, you know, or at least I don't. So it was a nice kind of invitation to connect in a different way, you know? So we're going to be doing a by proxy session, but with a bath component. I'm going to take you into my bathroom, create a bath for you, charge the bath with energy, with intention and all of that. So all of that will take place in our ba my bathroom and then we'll come back and we'll ground and we'll refresh. But just to share this theme while Yes, the goddess provision box was about pleasure and the body and the senses, sensual energy. I'd like to work with this today for those purposes, but also bring in an element of impulse because I feel like when we're connected to the sacral, when we're in tune with our body, when we're in tune with our senses and in conjunction, in parallel then, our creative energy fields, we're able to tap into our impulse, our creative impulse. So this would support anyone looking to connect with their body, perhaps heal some kind of trauma in any way, or reawaken a, a new phase, a new paradigm perhaps of your uh, sensual journey. We'll just call it that. But for those of you who aren't really interested in those themes, we can work with this as connecting to that creative impulse or our body's gut instinct or pull or little doo -doo -doo that goes off that tells us to do something or to move in some way or to feel how good something feels and really immerse ourselves in it. All right. So I hope that you enjoy and we'll move over to the, to the bathroom now. <laughs> and... See you over there. So, welcome to my bathroom. I first want to introduce you and show you around a little bit to all the plants that I have here holding the field for the sacred work, holding a healing life field, a field of prana, a field of, of wanting to grow, of reaching for the light, of knowing what we need to support our bodies, but also our emotional and mental planes. I've had a really nice time collecting these and I look forward to getting more. Let me see if I can keep these going. <laughs> so we're gonna fill our baths and begin just calling in the water element here, allowing this beautiful water to fill the soaking tub where we will do our sacred work today, even by proxy. Of course, we'll call in the fire element as well, light a candle, and set this intention. So on behalf of your and my and everyone else's highest and greatest good, in perfect comfort and alignment, we are here today to immerse ourselves in sense, in senses, to reawaken aspects of ourselves that perhaps are dormant. Perhaps this is for the purpose of connecting to our bodies more fluidly, more richly. Perhaps this is healing and forgiving and accepting our bodies. 
could also be to tap into our creative energy and awaken this impulse of creation and following through on that impulse. We're going to add some herbs to this bath water. A beautiful collection of herbs that was actually a steam, but I think it will serve this nice warm bath water very well. I'm going to mix them in. I'm going to add some oil. This is the Indulge Mood Oil. Rose and cardamom which has an invigorating and an uplifting scent. It definitely has a sensual element to it, I'll certainly say that. Rose is an excellent heart healer. It supports us being led by our desires for fulfillment. And with the cardamom, it works very well with the sacral chakra. And the root, I would say, as well. To connect us with our emotions, to heal emotional pains, but to really, I want to say there's a very strong uh, strength <laughs> in cardamom. It really feels like an empowering herb, seasoned spice <laughs> to work with. So we're going to add this to the water. charge the water for you today with an um, element of sound and this sound is what we're going to use for air if we're working in an elemental realm this bowl will work with the throat chakra to allow us to express ourselves to perhaps have a session of journaling and talk with ourselves about our our pleasure zones, our thing, the things in our life that inspire us, the things in our life that really get us going and that feels so good, whether that's physical or um, of a more richer, fulfilling aspect as well. So I'll just play these bowls for you. I hope you find it relaxing. So now we're going to add this sweet little bath bomb, which has a little gem in it. How perfect. 
This is by um, Vital You, if you're interested. And again, I got this in the Goddess Provisions box. And we're just adding it to really add this kind of effervescent energy to, to this water. This bubbly, this tingle, this sensitivity. Sometimes we put up so many guards to our sensitive nature that it manifests in a physical realm as well where pleasurable experiences are difficult to connect with. And don't get me wrong, <laughs> it doesn't have to be, you know, in the, incredi in the um, incredibly intimate genre of what we're speaking on here. This can be little things, this can be hugs, you know, this can be food and the things that we enjoy from that aspect as well, or the music that we want to hear, or just listening to the birds, or the crickets, or hear the cicadas and frogs and lizards making their beautiful dusk sounds, and find it so tickly and so pleasurable to your, your auditory senses. So you can just take this gem and I'd love for you to look at this gem for a moment if you don't mind. This is a little clear quartz. And this clear quartz is a perfect one to add to your bath. I don't typically suggest adding stones to your bath unless you're 100% sure of them. But a clear quartz that's been tumbled like this is pretty safe to add to your water. And it holds your intention. So... I know we've set an intention already, but I'd love for you to take a moment and set your own intention and send it into the stone that I'm going to place in this water that you're going to energetically immerse in. Right? So now I just want you to step in, relax, take a deep breath. Stretch out your legs and your arms and wiggle your fingers and toes. Feel this beautiful warm water just gently swirling around as I swirl it for you. And I'm channeling energy, prana, chi, reiki, universal energy, into this water by proxy that you can see yourself resting in and joining. Here you can wash away anything that doesn't serve you. You can release any aspect of a pattern or a belief which clouds your perception of your senses, which keeps you out of touch with your senses, your physical, and of course your creative senses as well. This beautifully charged water, the fire of the candle next to you, the singing bowl sounds, adding another element to this incredibly charged bath for you today. Just enjoy and relax and soak it up. So we're releasing what doesn't serve our intention and we're receiving every resource, every opportunity, every aha to align with our intention, to receive what we need to support this fulfillment and perhaps lessen our personal growth. ready. I'll let you dry off <laughs> and I'll meet you back in the other room. you and touch 
suck you in and dry you off. Just feel this potential, you know? Like you can create anything from this, this void. <laughs> this space where things come through from, where things are born. And just immerse. Settle in. Receive this activation, this healing session. All right. <laughs> it's going to dry. Kind of exfoliating, it feels like, too, like energetically. back, just scrubbing off all that dead skin, you know, like energetic dead skin, so we can really see you, and you can really feel, and your senses are just much more awakened, you know? All right, gorgeous. <laughs> Stepping into yourself more and more authentically each day. You're learning, you're... It's almost like these little hairs are just... Just more awake, more perceptive, more tingly, more um, cueing you, you know? Cueing you into what... Cluing you in, forgive me. Cluing you into what... What's right, like where do I want to go the way plants sense how to go towards the light and you know I'm not a all love and light person there's always the shadow but I mean it from this more um instinctual doing what's right for you sort of place you know I hope so much that you enjoyed this little video and I thank you for your patience and allowing me to create it because it took me a little longer than usual <laughs> But I send you so much love, so much thanks, special, special, special thank you to those I've been able to work with, those who I'm meeting in Santa Ana in November, just a month away, practically, you know, I can't believe it. Um, if you don't know, I'm teaching some classes in Santa Ana next month. You can find that information on my website. I have a retreat coming up in March as well, which I'm very excited about, and I just want to send a big huge thank you to those in the patreon community those of you supporting this public channel and my work and contributing over there and holding space for everyone i'm so grateful for you and your energy that you lend and hold over there so thank you so 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 much from the bottom of my heart i bow to the divine the magic that we share